In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about editing two tracks of audio in Digital Performer. I'm going to assume you know how to create groups and how to create new takes. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go to the marker that's um, called Section 1, Take 2. Click on that, and now I can zoom in on that part by going to the Sequence Editor window and using the arrow key. I've defined the right arrow key to be zoom in. The default was command uh, right arrow, but I've made it just the right arrow. So here's the beginning of the sound file. It has my slate on it, and then the harp music starts here. So I want to cut out my slate and start it right before the harp music. So I'm going to move the playhead right before the harp starts. Then I'm going to click on the waveforms, so they are selected with the pointer tool. If I hold down the Option key and press Y, it splits it right where the playhead is. So I'm using the playhead to define the point at which I'm going to split the files and make the edits. Okay, now that we've defined the beginning of our audio segment, let's define the end. So going to the end, we're going to play. That's where we want to cut out. So we zoom in. I'm using control drag down with the playhead to zoom. Click on the files once again. Option Y splits them. So now I have my first piece of audio. I select it by clicking on it. I hold down the command key and press C to copy it into the copy buffer. Now I'm going to create a new take and I'm going to paste this piece into this new take. So I'm going to click into this take, hold down the command key and push V to paste and there we have the new audio pasted into take two. Going to the next part that I want to use, I'm going to use section two take five. So let's find that same spot in, uh, in this take. There it is. So I like to stop right as I hear the sound that I want to cut to. I moved the playhead just before that note that we just heard where we want to cut to. And hold down the Option key after they've been selected and press Y. We split it. So here's the beginning of the new piece. And then we just need to go to the end and find a place to cut out. So let's play it. Let's cut out right there. So we're going to move the playhead right to the point where we want to cut out. S select it. Option Y. Now I'm going to zoom out using the arrow key and select that region we've just created. Copy it. Command C. Now go to the take where I'm doing my edits. Take two. We don't see it, but if we zoom out, we'll see it eventually. There's the first piece. Now if I hold down the Option key and drag like this, I can zoom in on where I want to paste it. Now if I click my mouse right to the right of it and Command V, paste it, now I've got both pieces and I just have to join them together. The way I'm going to do that is hold down the Control key, I get the hand, and slightly drag to the left, and then let go of the mouse. And now through the second piece of audio right up against the end of the first. Now all we have to do is create a crossfade. We hold down the Control key and push F on the keyboard. We get the crossfade menu. Um, I would always select equal power. And generally I like 10 millisecond uh, fades to start with. So that's what we have here. Click OK. Now we've got a crossfade. And we can listen to the edit now. That sounds fine. So there we have it. That's how you do editing.
the way I do editing. And of course, you would just continue this until you're, you're finished with all the segments you need to have the entire piece.